The First Book of Chronicles 1 Chronicles Chapter 1 Historical Records from Adam to Abraham To Noah's sons, Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah. The sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The sons of Japheth, Goma, Magog, Medai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tyra. The sons of Goma, Ashkenaz, Riphath, and Taigama. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, the Kittites, and the Rhodonites. The sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seba, Havilah, Sabta, Rayama, and Sabtika. The sons of Rayama, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush was the father of Nimrod, who became a mighty warrior on earth. Egypt was the father of the Ludites, Anamites, Lehabites, Naphtuthites, Pathrusites, Kazuhites, from whom the Philistines came, and Kaphtarites. Canaan was the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and of the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, Girgashites, Hivites, Archites, Sinites, Arvadites, Zimarites, and Hamathites. The sons of Shem, Elam, Eshur, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram, Uz, Hal, Githa, and Meshech. Arphaxad was the father of Shelah, and Shelah the father of Eber. Two sons were born to Eber. One was named Peleg, because in his time the earth was divided. His brother was named Joktan. Joktan was the father of Almodad, Sheleth, Hazameva, Jira, Hadorem, Yuzal, Dikla, Obel, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Havila, and Jobab. All these were sons of Joktan. Shem, Arphaxed, Shila, Eba, Peleg, Riu, Sirog, Nahor, Tira, and Abram, that is, Abraham. The sons of Abraham, Isaac and Ishmael. These were their descendants. Nabaioth, the firstborn of Ishmael, Kida, Adbiel, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Massa, Hadad, Tima, Jichur, Nafish, and Kedema. These were the sons of Ishmael. The sons born to Keturah, Abraham's concubine, Zimram, Jokshan, Midan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. The sons of Jokshan, Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Midian, Ephah, Ephah, Hanok, Abida, and Eldea. All these were descendants of Keturah. Abraham was the father of Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. The sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Ruel, Jeor, Jalem, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Teman, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, and Kenaz. By Timnah, Amalek. The sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mitzah. The sons of Seir, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Daishon, Eza, and Daishan. The sons of Lotan, Hurai, and Homam. Timnah was Lotan's sister. The sons of Shobal, Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Shifo, and Onam. The sons of Zibion, Ea, and Ana. The sons of Ana, Daishon. The sons of Daishon, Hemdam, Eshban, Ithran, and Kiran. The sons of Ezer, Bilhan, Zeavan, and Achan. The sons of Daishan, Uz, and Aran. These were the kings who reigned in Edom before any Israelite king reigned. Bela, son of Beor, whose city was named Dinabah. When Bela died, Jobab, son of Zerah from Bozrah, succeeded him as king. When Jobab died, Yosham, 
from the land of the Temanites succeeded him as king. When Husham died, Hadad son of Bedad, who defeated Midian in the country of Moab, succeeded him as king. His city was named Avith. When Hadad died, Samla from Mazreka succeeded him as king. When Samla died, Sheul from Rehoboth on the river succeeded him as king. When Sheul died, Baal Hanan son of Akbor succeeded him as king. When Baal Hanan died, Hadad succeeded him as king. His city was named Peyu, and his wife's name was Mehetabel, daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mesahab. Hadad also died. The chiefs of Edom were Timnah, Alva, Jetheth, Aholibema, Elah, Pinon, Kenaz, Teman, Mibzar, Magdiel, and Iram. These were the chiefs of Edom. 1 Chronicles chapter 2 These were the sons of Israel. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. The sons of Judah, Er, Onam, and Shelah. These three were born to him by a Canaanite woman, the daughter of Shua. Er, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the Lord's sight, so the Lord put him to death. Judah's daughter-in-law, Tamar, bore Pireth and Zerah to Judah. He had five sons in all. The sons of Pireth, Hezron and Hamul. The sons of Zerah, Zimri, Ethan, Hemam, Kalkal, and Dada. Five in all. The son of Carmi. Achar, who brought trouble on Israel by violating the ban on taking devoted things. The son of Ethan, Azariah. The sons born to Hezron were Jeremiel, Ram, and Caleb. Ram was the father of Aminadab, and Aminadab the father of Nachshon, the leader of the people of Judah. Nachshon was the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, Boaz the father of Obed, and Obed the father of Jesse. Jesse was the father of Eliab his firstborn. The second son was Abinadab, the third, Shimea. The fourth, Nathanel. The fifth, Radei. The sixth, Ozem. And the seventh, David. Their sisters were Zeruiah and Abigail. Zeruiah's three sons were Abishai, Joab, and Asahel. Abigail was the mother of Amasa, whose father was Jetha the Ishmaelite. Caleb, son of Hezron, had children by his wife Azuba and by Jeriath. These were her sons, Jesha, Shobab, and Arden. When Azuba died, Caleb married Ephrath, who bore him Hur. Hur was the father of Uri, and Uri the father of Bezalel. Later, Hezron, when he was sixty years old, married the daughter of Machir, the father of Gilead. He made love to her, and she bore him Segub. Segub was the father of Jair, who controlled twenty-three towns in Gilead. But Gishor and Aram captured Havoth Jair, as well as Kenath with its surrounding settlements, sixty towns. All these were descendants of Machir, the father of Gilead. After Hezron died in Caleb Ephrathah, Abijah, the wife of Hezron, bore him Ashur, the father of Tekoa. The sons of Jeremiel, the firstborn of Hezron. Ram, his firstborn, Buna, Oren, Ozem, and Ahijah. Jeremiel had another wife, whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Onan. The sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jeremiel. Meaz, Jamin, and Eka. The sons of Onan, Shammai and Jada. The sons of Shammai, Nadab and Abishur. Abishur's wife was named Abihel, who bore him Arban and Molid. The sons of Nadab, Seled and Apeim. Seled died without children. The son of Apeim, Ishai, who was the father of Shishan. Shishan was the father of Alei. The sons of Jada, Shammai's brother, Jetha and Jonathan. Jetha died without children. The sons of Jonathan, 
Pileth, and Zazar. These were the descendants of Jeremiel. Shishan had no sons, only daughters. He had an Egyptian servant named Jaha. Shishan gave his daughter in marriage to his servant Jaha, and she bore him Atei. Atei was the father of Nathan. Nathan, the father of Zabad, Zabad, the father of Iflau, Iflau, the father of Obed, Obed, the father of Jehu, Jehu, the father of Azariah, Azariah, the father of Hilez, Hilez, the father of Eliasa, Eliasa, the father of Sismai, Sismai, the father of Shalom, Shalom, the father of Jechamiah, and Jechamiah, the father of Elishama. The sons of Caleb, the brother of Jeremiel, Misha, his firstborn, who was the father of Ziph, and his son, Marisha, who was the father of Hebron. The sons of Hebron, Korah, Tapua, Rechem, and Shema. Shema was the father of Raham, and Raham the father of Jochiam. Rechem was the father of Shemei. The son of Shemei was Maon, and Maon was the father of beth -zur. Caleb's concubine, Ephah, was the mother of Haran, Moza, and Gezez. Haran was the father of Gezez. The sons of Jedei, Regem, Jotham, Gishan, Pileth, Ephah, and Shea. Caleb's concubine, Maacah, was the mother of Sheba and Terena. She also gave birth to Sheaf, the father of Madmana, and to Sheva, the father of Machbina and Gibeah. Caleb's daughter was Aksa. These were the descendants of Caleb. The sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah. Shobal, the father of kiriath Jearim, Salma, the father of Bethlehem, and Hareth, the father of beth -Gedah. The descendants of Shobal, the father of kiriath Jearim, were Haroe, half the Manahathites, and the clans of kiriath Jearim, the Ithrites, Puthites, Shumathites, Mishraites, from these descended the Zorathites and Eshtaolites. The descendants of Salma, Bethlehem, the Natophathites, Athroth Beth Joab, half the Manahathites, the Zorites, and the clans of scribes who lived at Jabez, the Tyrathites, Shimeathites, and the Sukkothites. These are the Kenites who came from Hamath, the father of the Rechabites. 1 Chronicles chapter 3 these were the sons of David, born to him in Hebron. The firstborn was Amnon, son of Ahinoam of Jezreel. The second, Daniel, the son of Abigail of Carmel. The third, Absalom, the son of Maacah, daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur. The fourth, Adonijah, the son of Haggith. The fifth, Shephatiah, the son of Abital. And the sixth, Ithraim, by his wife Eglah. These six were born to David in Hebron, where he reigned seven years and six months. David reigned in Jerusalem for thirty-three years, and these were the children born to him there. Shamur, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. These four were by Bathsheba, daughter of Amiel. There were also Ibha, Elishua, Eliphalet, Noga, Nepheg, Jephiah, Elishema, Eliada and Eliphalet, nine in all. All these were the sons of David, besides his sons by his concubines, and Tamar was their sister. Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abijah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Jehoram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Ammon his son, Josiah his son. The sons of Josiah Johanan the firstborn, Jehoiakim the second son, Zedekiah the third, Shalom the fourth. The successors of Jehoiakim Jehoiakim his son, and Zedekiah. The descendants of Jehoiakim the captive. Shealtiel his son, Melchiram, Padiah, Shenezah, 
Yekamiah, Hoshama, and Nedabiah. The sons of Bediah, Zerubbabel and Shimei, the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshalem and Hananiah. Shalomith was their sister. There were also five others, Hashuba, Ohel, Berechiah, Hazadiah, and Yushad, he said. The descendants of Hananiah, Pelatiah and Jeshiah, and the sons of Rephiah, of Arnan, of Obadiah, and of Shechaniah. The descendants of Shechaniah, Shemaiah and his sons, Hatush, Igal, Bariah, Neariah, and Shaphat, six in all. The sons of Neariah, Eloah-Enai, Hizkiah, Azraikam, three in all. The sons of Elioenai, Hodaviah, Eliashib, Peleah, Akub, Johanan, Deliah, and Anani, seven in all. Psalm 134 Praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who minister by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, He who is the Maker of heaven and earth. Proverbs chapter 10 The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish son brings grief to his mother. Ill-gotten treasures have no lasting value, but righteousness delivers from death. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. He who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. Blessings crown the head of the righteous, but violence overwhelms the mouth of the wicked. The name of the righteous is used in blessings, but the name of the wicked will rot. The wise in heart accept commands, but a chattering fool comes to ruin. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. Whoever winks maliciously causes grief, and a chattering fool comes to ruin. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers over all wrongs. Wisdom is found on the lips of the discerning, but a rod is for the back of one who has no sense. The wise store up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool invites ruin. The wealth of the rich is their fortified city, but poverty is the ruin of the poor. The wages of the righteous is life, but the earnings of the wicked are sin and death. Whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life, but whoever ignores correction leads others astray. Whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and spreads slander is a fool. Sin is not ended by multiplying words, but the prudent hold their tongues. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, but the heart of the wicked is of little value. The lips of the righteous nourish many, but fools die for lack of sense. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, without painful toil for it. A fool finds pleasure in wicked schemes, but a person of understanding delights in wisdom. What the wicked dread will overtake them. What the righteous desire will be granted. When the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous stand firm for ever. As vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so are sluggards to those who send them. The fear of the Lord adds length to life, but the years of the wicked are cut short. The prospect of the righteous is joy, but the hopes of the wicked come to nothing. 
The way of the Lord is a refuge for the blameless, but it is the ruin of those who do evil. The righteous will never be uprooted, but the wicked will not remain in the land. From the mouth of the righteous comes the fruit of wisdom, but a perverse tongue will be silenced. The lips of the righteous know what finds favor, but the mouth of the wicked only what is perverse.